is day number 20 of the Purse Empowerment Challenge, and I hope that you are excited just like I am. If you were in a marathon, if you were tracking how much weight that you lost, if you were counting calories, if you were saying, uh, what else do people challenge them? So throw a water on your head and stuff like that. We didn't do none of that in this challenge, but this will be the day that you be celebrating because you'd be one day ahead of the day that would be the day. So that's pretty exciting. You need to, for all the people that said, girl, you can't never start and finish nothing. You know what you should do? You should call them and let them know that you did this challenge and you are almost done. Okay, so for nothing else, for completion, very close to completion, you deserve to get paid. You ready to get paid? Open up your purse, either virtually, actually, physically, spiritually, knock off, Prada, whatever you're dealing with, let's get yourself paid. You ready? Ah, uh, I hope you feel richer. I felt richer giving you the money. Okay, so today we're gonna talk a little bit more about money management, okay? This is a big girl conversation. At this point, you have already dealt with your debt, okay? Debt is no longer hanging over your head and you're thinking about, oh, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this, okay? Um, you have already put together a opportunity fund where you put money to the side where, hey, this is money where if an opportunity came about, I could go ahead and leverage this money, okay? Whether it's to invest in a property or to invest in a business or to invest in yourself or to take a vacation, that's your money you decide what you're going to do with it. Got it? Good. Okay, so now we're way past that. We've passed that conversation. Now we're talking about stocks, okay? And the reason why we would even have this conversation is because a lot of people people don't like to even deal with the stock market. In fact, when you mention the stock market, they want to take their purse and just throw it out the window because that's how they feel it's going to have an impact on their money. They had a better chance of getting money by throwing it out the window than putting it in the stock market. I know people who feel like that, think like that, be like that, live like that. Um, however, in order to begin to protect your purse from two things, very nasty things, one of them is inflation, all right? Because what you pay for gas today will not be what you will pay for gas in 36 years when you will be retired. It will be a different price. So Number one, inflation. You also need to do more investing so that you can protect your money from taxes. You got that right because those two people are gonna always be there. Inflation and taxes. They ain't going nowhere. They've been here at the beginning. They're gonna be here at the end. Okay, so that's why we would even begin to start talking about stocks. Now, if this is a totally new conversation for you, here are some things that I would do. I would, number one, I would get a book, okay? I would get a book about penny stocks. I would get a book about first investing. I would begin reading that book and begin to delve into the information so that I can see the links, okay? So if that's a financial gap for you, that's something you don't have in your purse, and you're kind of like, what the heck are those people talking about? What is a dividend? What the heck is a bull and a bear? Their market who are they talking about and how does it impact my purse you need to start with a book okay another place where you would go after you get into your book you would want to join an investment club okay in these investment clubs you're gonna find people that have been pooling money together and they're investing money together they've sharing their failures and they're sharing their feats okay you want to be a part of that conversation Thirdly, for those of you, and this can work out for those are the newbies and people that are already into investing um you want to go ahead and have a conversation with your advisor, okay? You want to get a better understanding. For those of you who don't think that you're into stocks and you have a 401k, you are into stocks. You just don't know that you're into stocks and you don't know what's going on with your money, okay? So by you setting up a conversation either with your employer advisor or setting up an appointment with a financial advisor that you hire out, you want to have a conversation with them about um, what, you know, what is this trading? How is it impacting me? How do I select a company? Now, there's a full-fledged chapter in my book about getting into stocks. It's about stockings. I advocate for you to put some stockings in your purse. You can get it in my purse things every woman should keep in her purse is where you can begin to read that but if you don't want to buy my book and you're looking for some other conversations just to go ahead and get in um app you know upping your skills in stocks you want to go ahead and have a conversation with an advisor um before you jump on and sign on with an advisor you want to kind of understand how they're going to get paid do you get paid when i get paid do you get paid on fees how do you get paid because all of that is going to impact your purse okay for those of you that are well into investing i want you to have a diversification conversation with yourself is all of my nests in one basket are all my purse launched off in Prada. Hello, not me. 
but for some of us that have all of our money in one place, it's very difficult to kind of like, uh, have some variety. You know, if you have a lost here, then you got a lost everywhere. But if you got to spread it out a little bit, you can kind of wage against the water. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? Okay. So today's challenge would basically involve doing an assessment of where yourself, okay, where you are with stocks. Okay. One, are you one of those people where I don't know what this girl is talking about? The only stocks that I'm interested in is the stocks in the back of a closet where you could log some shoes on. You need to be reading a book, all right? If you are in the middle and the only conversation that you are having about stocks involves your 401k plan, what you need to do is meet with your advisor so that you can begin to understand how this money is being invested. How does it impact my purse in the next 15, 20, 36 years? What's going on? And set in your calendar to meet with them every 90 days so you can have the conversation again. Now, if you're at the end of it, and now you're kind of like, you know, you have a 401k and you've been doing some trading and you kind of understand the market. I'm going to advocate that you get into a diversification conversation at the end of the poll, the older that you get, you want to have things that are going to be less riskier because you're going to need those money. Those that are younger, they actually have time to lose money and gain it back. They got, you know, dollar cost averaging. They got all those terms, all that, all those things working in their favor time. Those of us at the end of the totem pole, we don't have as much time. So if we have a loss, we're going to have a loss. You understand? So you need to have a conversation about diversification. I do hope that this was an introductory conversation. This is a, a, a pumping and prompting conversation. I do hope that this will make it to your calendar that, hey, I need to either read about stocks, learn about stocks, get some stocks, or trade my stocks. This is Shawnee. It's been great. I will see you tomorrow. It is going to be a party. I'm going to have on my party dress, so I hope you have on yours. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.